So if you're buying your first home or renting a new place or just moving into a new house and you love to sit in the garden and sit in the sun, um, this is for you. So you really need to think about the orientation of your back garden. So if you really like to sit in the sun, then the sort of best option for you is obviously south facing. Um, I think most people know that. Um, so if you're south facing, you've literally got the sun the full day, the full night, like it's perfect. You can just sit out there and you pretty much won't lose it until the sun sets. Um, and then after that, the next best option is west facing. So that's what we've got. So with west facing, you kind of get the sun from sort of noon all the way till the sun sets unless you've got a house near to you like us we've got a house quite close so we lose it a wee bit earlier about seven o'clock um, so that's a wee bit annoying but you know it's still good that we get it all that time um, and then the next option you've got is east facing so an east facing house will get the sun early in the morning so you could like sit outside with your morning coffee and just like relax and chill um, but you kind of you'd lose the sun sort of um, about 12 or you know 1 in the afternoon and it would like go to the front of your house and the sort of last option is your north facing garden so if you prefer the shade and you're not really a sun lover like me um, north facing is probably the best so you won't really get the sun like close to your house like if you're like me and you like your garden furniture like right next to your house so you've got that sort of indoor outdoor flow um you probably don't want the north facing um if you've got a north facing you might get the sun at the bottom of your garden um but probably not the top so yeah if you're a sun worshipper then south or west